This is Darshna Gauchen with your B2B Cambodia market update for June 25, 2024. The Cambodia Securities Exchange Index was up today by 3.56 points or 0.87% to 410.62. Total trade volume was light at 116,465 shares, changing hands at a total trade value of 675.4 million Khmer real or roughly 163,900 US dollars. On the main board, five stocks were up today. Leading the market was Grand Twins International, up 9.66% or 230 real to 2,610 real per share. Akleda Bank followed in second, up 2.17% or 160 real to 7,540 real per share. Both the Royal Group Phnom Penh SEZ and Pestec Cambodia were up 0.93% each, while Cam GSM was up 0.41%. Two stocks were down, with the Sienegville Autonomous Port as the biggest loser of the day, down 0.49% or 60 real to 12,220 real per share, while the Phnom Penh Autonomous Port was down 16% or 20 real to 12,880 real per share. The remaining two stocks on the main board, MJQ Education and the Phnom Penh Water Supply Authority, stayed flat. On the growth board, JS Land was up 1.49% or 50 real to 3,410 real per share, while DBD Engineering was down 0.48% or 10 real to 2,070 real per share. Once again, Akleda Bank recorded the highest trade volume of the day, with 62,454 shares changing hands at a value of 471.5 million Khmer real, or roughly 114,580 US dollars, accounting for around 49% of all shares traded on June 25th. Grand Twins International recorded the second highest trade volume of the day, with 15,843 shares changing hands at a trade value of around 9,700 US dollars, while Cam GSM followed in close third, seeing 15,721 shares changing hands at a value of 9,186 US dollars, both companies each accounting for around 12% of the total trade volume on June 25th. The Khmer real to USD strengthened slightly to 4,121 real per US dollar, while the US dollar index was slightly down further to 105.51. Oil prices were little changed on Tuesday after rising in the previous session, helped by expectations of increased fuel demand this summer, but investors were cautious ahead of US consumer price data. Brent futures for August settlement eased 5 cents to 85.96 US dollars a barrel after gaining 0.9% on Monday, while US crude futures were down 3 cents at 81.60 US dollars a barrel after climbing 1.1% a day earlier. Both benchmarks rose about 3% last week, marking two straight weeks of gains. Gold prices eased as investors look towards key US inflation data due later this week that could throw some light on the Federal Reserve stance on interest rate cuts. Spot gold was down 0.4% to 2,324.69 US dollars per ounce, while US gold futures fell 0.3% to 2,336.80 US dollars. Stock futures rose on Tuesday morning after a sell-off in favor of technology names brought the Nasdaq Composite to its worst day since April. Futures tied to the Dow Jones Industrial Average added 72 points or 0.18%. S&P 500 futures and NASDAQ 100 futures rose 0.13% and 0.26% respectively. This was Darshan Agalchen with your B2B Cambodia market update for June 25th.